Hello. This message is directly for Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam. I want to speak to you. I do respect your position as I am a woman of God. But I am deeply touched and disappointed by your government because I'm speaking on behalf of this Ethiopian Christians that is slaughtered by ISIS in Libya and those are hiding and captured by ISIS at this time when we speak with for that pregnant woman with the and for that woman and that 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 man that is sick for that little boy that little girl man and woman that is in South in South Africa in Saudi in Libya I'm speaking in behalf of those who are murdered and though that man that Muslim man trying to save those Christians that brave man he's a hero I'm speaking in behalf of them Prime Minister what is your purpose when you become a leader what was your conviction you have to have some kind of conviction what was it a great leader stand up for his people not for private ambition a great leader he protect his citizens let me quote it to you what Jesus said the great leader is Jesus he died for his people for everyone he said it about leaders leave them they are blind leaders the blind lead the blind let me explain it to you what that mean which means he doesn't talk about sight he talks about vision what was your vision they have no vision so that people cannot follow that's what he meant to say because what was your vision a great leader is like Jesus a great leader dies for his people a great leader is like Martin Luther King a great leader what he believe what in his what his conviction he died for he go for it until the end a great leader he start the change he the one start the change lead means you lead them you change them you take them from place to place if they are in poverty you move them if they are in trouble you protect them you you deliver them you save them how then prime minister Haile Mariam the world media they identify they are Ethiopians but it takes you three days to even recognize them they are Ethiopians Prime Minister Haile Mariam if you know about God you're gonna be standing in the presence of God very so very soon what are you gonna answer for every man and woman that is shed their blood is in your hands Prime Minister let me ask you what is your conviction what was you believing when they make you a prime minister what was your faith Isis I'm not angry about Isis I'm angry on Ethiopian government more Isis they stand what they believe to kill human being and they do in it what is your conviction that's their conviction and they do it and they die with it what is your conviction a great leader is supposed to protect his citizen. Americans, when one American is captive, they will send the soldiers. They will send the soldiers with sheep, with planes, to protect one citizen. But you don't have no plane. You don't have no ship. You have it. How then you cannot? Those those people they are they, you heard them their interview, they're asking you. They're asking, by the way, they don't even ask the government because they have no trust in you. They're asking the Ethiopian people to protect them, to bring them out from that place where they are. They have no food for three days. You heard that interview. Why then you send you don't have no ships to send them to rescue rescue them? You don't have no airplane to bring them back. Prime Minister, you have children. Remember that mother right now grieving in Ethiopia. We grieve. We are outside here. We grieved more than they are because we can't do nothing. We far away. But one thing I speak on behalf of them. Their blood is now wasted. I know they are in the kingdom of God. But one thing. Oh, I don't want to cry. But I am angry. I pray for your soul. I pray for your soul that God will forgive you. 
I'm going to give you one month to get it right. If not, we all Ethiopians will going to speak on behalf of these brothers and sisters. Do something about it to American government, to Canadian government, to European government to sanction you, to boycott you. Remember, crying, Ethiopian people, crying doesn't do nothing. We cry, it's good to mourn, but do it to action. A great leader is supposed to protect his 